and welcome to, I'm not sure which thing we're gonna actually put this under because it's kind of an unboxing video, but it's also a how-to. So I guess really it's a quick toot. <laughs> welcome to Quick Toots on Foss Shape, which is a thermoplastic. The person who developed this product is called Brian Jeffrey and he sent us this so that we could show it off and it's taken me a long time because I really wanted to get Gail in on this because Gail has taught classes on Foss Shape at USITT. So, Foss Shape is your friend and this is new because this is black Foss Shape. Normally it's all white. And let's see, this is 400, so it is the heavier one, if memory serves me correctly. And I'm really, really looking forward to opening this box. Open it, open it, open it. <laughs> oh, excitement. You don't trust me. If you really trusted me, you'd give me a knife. Instead, she just gave me big scissors. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, Ooh, it's like fabric. What is it? Yay. So unlike Warbla, this stuff is a lot, well, it's folded for one. Yes. <laughs> it's not a big roll. It's awesome. Ooh, we got a a new Wonderflex sample kit. Oh, Yay. neat! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Foss Shape Black 400. It's like felt. No this actual is Foss Shape 600. Oh, it's just 600. super. 600. <laughs> Ooh. That's thick. That's really thick. I need to get some Foss Shape, Foss Shape 600. It's, this stuff is awesome. You can do masks out of it. You can do head pieces out of it. Um, I've done full-on hats. It's just, it's awesome. How does it work? How does it work? Well, basically, it's fabric, obviously. So what you can do is you can sew it up into whatever shape you want. Say you want to make a, say you want to make a diving helmet out of it. Because, well, let's face it, I'm not going to go buy a bunch of copper and a hammer and make myself a faux diving helmet for my, uh... Steampunk. Steam, yeah. Yeah. No. So for that particular thing, what I did is I went and I made a pattern out of uh, paper. I, I actually draped it over the top of a bowl. So basically you have what looks like a baseball cap, but it's really a diving helmet. Sewed it together on my sewing machine, stuffed it within an inch of its life. So I attached my Foss shape that was all stuffed onto the top of a dress form with cleavage and proceeded to uh, steam it. It's like a thick felt. Yeah. But it gets hard. It gets hard when you supply heat, um, either in the form of steam or a heat gun. Um, the one thing I will say about it is, if it's gonna take a lot of abuse over time, it, it will, I think, soften is the best way to describe it. Um, in which case, what I do is I'll just put Rigeline on the interior. I was doing a giant basketball headpiece, so what I did is I made the headpiece, hardened it, put Rigeline going crosses through it so that it couldn't collapse mm -hmm. upon itself and around, and that thing will go through the wars before anything's gonna happen to it. Um, you can take and you can paint it. In the case of the diving helmet, it was with a bunch of um, sculptor coat and flex glue, mm -hmm. and you just keep layering it on, layering it on, and I got it up to a metallic finish. And um, it looks pretty good. Yeah, for millinery purposes, it's really awesome. I have friends that have gone and made top hats using the top hat form. Pop this over the top, heat it up, you're good to go. Um, it really is a dynamite product and it's very easy to use. Okay, we're gonna do something fun with the Foss Shape just to show you how fast and easy and instant gratification it can be. Um, we have this lovely head form. We have the steamer percolating in the back here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just cut a chunk Provided I hold my scissors the right way. Yeah, that, he's got a small face. All right. So yeah, so it's a lot easier to cut than, than other thermoplastics. Right, and I'll do an easy thing here. 
all I'm going to do is, and I'm going to use the steamer, my preferred method, because it's more forgiving unless you really work with this stuff a lot or work with a heat gun a lot, and I do not do heat gun very often. What I'm doing now is I'm just pinning this in onto my nice styrofoam head, because so we're just going to do a quickie little face mask. So what I'm doing is where the indents would be. I'm just going in and I'm feeling my way around. And the <coughs> nice thing is also no pins are harmed in this application. I know when you work with some stuff, your pins get all goopy. Yeah, no goopy. This is really cool stuff. Although, I mean, like, it's so fuzzy. It was really great. We did animal masks with these ones. and. Um, and it was really great for that. It's nice if you don't want to use buckram and you want to make a, a, a head, a base form for a hat or something, you can use this. Well, and this black stuff would be great for a top hat. Oh, yeah, because you don't even have to do You have do to do anything. nothing. <laughs> yeah, you just make the shape and then you're done. Stuff it and go and pro probably do, depending on the size of your top hat, a little bit of interior structure just to keep it happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, speaking of happy, Mr. Steamer, don't burn yourself. You'll give it to me so you don't okay. hurt yourself. So just to give you an idea, keep an eye on this little edge. As soon as you apply the steam, it's starting to shrink up, and you can see it shrink. And what I like about the steamer is I can actually use the steamer to shape it down. Heat gun, not so much. No, you burn it. Yeah. But now what you've got, oh, wow. It's hard, and the fibers have basically been sucked in. Why don't we not have this nice new piece next to the steamer, too? That's crazy talk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, nice. what I'm going to do is just steam it with some love, because what we're going for is the heat. The little residual watery stuff is, is just byproduct. And the other thing I like with this also is once you do shape it, it still cuts. And like I said earlier, you sew through it. It's not the sew with pliers, sew with pliers. It sews still relatively easily after it's been done. So about how long does it usually take for something like this? I have no idea. I yeah. never bothered to time myself, but it's fast. It's a heck of a lot faster fast. than buckram. Yeah. You don't have the dry time that you have with buckram. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I mean, I could use this as a base for a pool noodle wig. You could. And you can feel the difference as you're working with it. You can definitely feel, as well as see, that it's gotten hard. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure it's nice and hard. All right. He feels pretty firm. But basically what you can now see is, let's do it side by side. So you can see the difference, how it's fluffy, flat. You can see how the fibers, you see all the fibers here, you really decrease the fibers. Oh, and you can also use an iron with it too. Um, I've done that as well, steam iron. So the next step is the easy step. And you're now going to see how messy I am with pins. So what's nice about this, and it doesn't stick. And I didn't melt the form, which always is a good thing. Hey. But you can see inside, there's your nice solid form on the outside. And I have a mask. That's fantastic. I love it. It is so fast and so fun. And you can go back in and, you know, work out some stuff if you need to where I've got the pinholes. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. And... It's yeah. Great. Oh yeah. Don't sit on it. No. But you've still got a really nice base and you can work stuff around and out and whatnot. So that's our finished uh, two minute mask. And uh, yeah. obviously we could uh, flex glue over top. Right. And then paint it. Or just paint it. Or just paint it. And um, but and yeah. then glorious. Yeah. Easy, quick, fast, super lightweight. Yeah, and it doesn't smell. No, it does not smell. And no. Brian is no, awesome to deal with at Wonderful Axe World. He's, he's very fast and he's very nice. And dynamite person. So, yes.
go buy some. Thanks for watching our uh, unboxing quick toot on Foss Shape. And uh, we hope to see you next time. And remember to subscribe and ring the bell. <laughs>